Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, Microsoft is still testing odd patches in the enterprise sphere. So, of course, any enterprise PC with Windows Enterprise Education or um, anything that has to do with Microsoft 365, Microsoft just wants you to go there. Apparently, not enough people are going there. Um, they gave instructions how to do it because eventually... They're hoping that odd patching will eventually come to Windows Home and Pro versions. They're still a long way off, but they uh, have a clear advantage. So if you guys use zero patch in Windows 10, for example, you'll kind of see what out hot patching is. Hot patching is simply saying that you will get updates that won't have any restart and there will be what's called base updates so every two months you'll have a base update that will require restart but in between you'll get patches that won't require uh, any restart and that will fix you know all sorts of windows security problems so like zero patch this is kind of the way it works zero patch does hot patch which means it fixes without restart now, um, they are asking Enterprise to do um, a little change to make sure that they get hot patching rather than uh, having standard updates. Hot patches also have another big advantage is that they are up to 10 times smaller in updates than regular updates from Windows updates. So this is going to be interesting to see if enough uh, Enterprise, enough PCs and the business level get this to eventually maybe in the home and pro versions to get something like this. Um, I mean, we do need hot patches. I think that restarting the PC every time there's an update, like tomorrow is going to be Patch Tuesday, and Patch Tuesday, which is on October 14th this month, uh, is going to require a restart. And so hot patches would tomorrow require a restart because it's a base update but in november for example next month you would have a uh, hot patch for security updates and it would not require a restart next month so this is something that they're still testing we talked about it a few times in the past year it is eventually going to come to also consumer and pro it's still a long way ahead before it happens but uh, let's hope it does because I think this could be nice. And I think odd patching could also reduce the number of problems that people are having with Windows updates. And until then, of course, we're waiting for tomorrow for the Windows updates, which are going to happen. And uh, we'll be looking at that and see how much of security issues and bug fixes all of it is going to fix. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.